What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this brand new 2022 Van Lee Beacon fifth wheel. Now you guys probably remember that I did like a six month evaluation. They sent me one from Van Lee straight from the factory and I spent six months with it and it was really, really awesome. Well, that was a 2020 model. This is a 2021 model and I wanted to show you some of the changes that they made on the inside of it and really feel out what you guys think about it because you know these are absolutely beautiful full body paint fifth wheels there's so much to like about them but at the same time though every time you know a, a year model changes and they do different things to it sometimes you you may either really love it or you may wish that they kept it the way it was so let's take a look at this brand new 2022 42 rdb van lee beacon fifth wheel hang tight i'll be right back As always, before we kick things off, let's take a look at the numbers. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,500 pounds, which is the same as the one that they, they sent me. It's going to have a cargo capacity of 2,300 pounds. It's going to ride on 17 and a half inch wheels. Yeah, so this will have H-rated tires on it. So, you know, a pretty good setup. It's got 8,000 pound axles. It's a relatively heavy unit. Some people want to know the math and they want to say, well, how does 16,000 pounds worth of axle capacity equate to a fifth wheel that can weigh up to 18,500 pounds? Well, the reason reality is, is you'll unlikely get it up to that total 18,500 pounds unless all your holding tanks are full and you've loaded it up with stuff. But even then, you're only going to have about, I'm going to say probably 14,500, 15,000 pounds max resting on the actual axles. So you're going to have more than enough axle capacity because the rest of that weight's going to actually rest on the back of your pickup truck. Hence, fifth wheel. That a lot of times confuses people, but what people don't realize about fifth wheels oftentimes is that the rear axle axle of the fifth wheel are the two axles back here. The front axle of the fifth wheel is the back of your pickup truck. So just like your pickup truck, not all the weight is designed to rest on just one of your axles. It doesn't have the capacity for it. Same with RVs. Your rear axle setup is back here. Your front axle setup is your pickup. Anyways, guys, we're going to hop inside of this 42 RDB. We're going to take a closer look at it and then we'll come back outside and see what it's all about. But since they have this open, I don't think there's a generator. Oh, it has the space for a generator, it just doesn't have a generator installed. It has a Kurt Rotaflex pin box on it. Again, beautiful full body paint. This is actually the same paint scheme that we had on the, the unit that I was doing an evaluation on. All right, let's hop inside of this 2022 42 RDB from Van Lee. All right, stepping inside, they have the Cummins Onan generator prep here. So if you put the generator in, you already have the start stop feature and all your controls there. Has the same spider control panel up here, which essentially controls everything inside of the RV. Your lighting, your slides, your air conditioning, all of that stuff through here. And all of the switches, all your wall switches connect wirelessly to this. So there's not wires running through all your walls. Essentially, they're battery powered and they pair to this wirelessly. So you really have a very, very convenient way of connecting things to the system to control other things. Now, the switches are wired to the lights that they control, but they're all controlled through this panel. All right. So right off the bat, you can tell there's a major color difference between this unit and the one that we reviewed. The one we reviewed had a beautiful kind of a, a white finish. I think they called it white linen in this area. Then it was kind of a silver or kind of a, a light silver tone in the front and the back. But this has more neutral tones. Very, very nice finish though. If there's one thing that the folks over at Van Lee do exceptionally well, it's woodwork. They do a lot of things really well, but that's one thing that really stands out. So this area right here doesn't seem too unchanged except for the fact that it has a different tile. And this is real tile. You can actually see the grout right here. So this is not artificial tile. It is real tile and it, it just absolutely looks beautiful. And they've used two different types. So they have this tile right here and then they have a different pattern over here. On the unit we had, it was the same in both areas, but it was still beautiful. And I loved that white linen interior. But this is also really nice. Again, more neutral. This has an MSRP of $168,640. Uh, don't actually know what the sales price on this would be, but I can imagine it's going to be significantly less than that because Explore does a great job at discounting their units. This has the LG refrigerator. Looks to be very similar to the refrigerator that we had in the unit that we, we evaluated. 
has a nice little locking system right here so you can lock the door whenever you're traveling. You have your cabinet doors here, all with these cool little cable stops and they prevent you from hitting the refrigerator. That's kind of the goal or from hitting a cabinet. Little touches like that are some of the things that make Vanley units really stick out. You can have real hardwood cabinetry all the way throughout. Trimmed off very nicely. Beautiful crown molding, beautiful molding around the slides. Coming around here, you have your solid surface countertop. Very, very residential. I love this little step down they do right here. Dual basin sink, so this is a little different than the sink we had in ours. We had that one large single basin sink, but this has a dual stainless steel basin sink. Over here you have your Insignia stove oven combination. Beautiful unit, very residential. Then you have a large cabinet right here. This was the same type of space we had in ours. I wasn't 100% sure what goes here, but I imagine something like a dishwasher might go here if you opt for it. We just used it for extra storage. You have your convection microwave up here as well. Stainless steel interior. Again, take a look at the, the tile work right here. It's all tiled off, absolutely gorgeous. Hand laid backsplash. All your drawers are soft closing drawers or slow closing, whatever you want to call it. Again, little cable stop keeps it from hitting the slide right there. It's all soft closing. Got more drawers right here. This is all very similar, but what's different is they give you this big cabinet here. So this was not here in the unit that we evaluated. They had a smaller wine fridge right here and they had more cabinetry below. So this is something that's unique. They've certainly increased the size of their, their freezer, their refrigerator right here, because yeah, it used to be really small and thin and it would go right here. So now they have a much larger one below. Another thing that's interesting is they've moved away from carpeted slides and they now have the linoleum slide and it's a completely flat floor system on this side. On that side, it still elevates up a little bit, but that's usually not that big of a deal. Very, very nice valances. Another area that Vanley really, really leads. And if you guys didn't see the videos I did on the Vanley Beacon I had, this is an area that I can't overstate on an RV that typically is, isn't is done very well. The backing that holds on your valances is typically trash. Uh, even on the unit we had, it's just very easy to break off, very easy to come off. They back these on here with steel backers on the other side of the wall, which makes this just an incredibly sturdy, robust valance. And they look beautiful. Now, if you wanna remove them, it's actually the same process. You still have the little angle clips right here if you wanna take them off. It's just what those angle clips actually bite into on the other side that makes them so strong. And of course you have soft touch materials here. Beautiful little chair rail molding that goes around as well. Also that same soft touch material in the slides. Here are the controls to be able to turn everything on and off. Again, these are all battery powered and they connect to the main brain wirelessly. Now, of course, there are still wires that come from here and go to the actual light fixtures themselves, but these speak to the main controller wirelessly. Okay, coming up here. Now, this is an area that can oftentimes be missed. And what I mean by that is the sofa and love seats that you see in here, the theater seating and sofas, this is all residential furniture. So typically in RVs, you're gonna see residential style furniture from Lippert, or you're gonna see it from a few other manufacturers, but typically Lippert produces it for just about everybody. The furniture you see in here is actually produced by Franklin. Franklin is likely the brand you see when you go to your furniture store for your home. And Franklin furniture is insanely well-built and very comfortable. The unit we had had very, very similar seating, and it was the most comfortable RV seating I think I've ever sat in. Um, you have to sit in it for a little while, so sometimes to really think about it and realize it. But yeah, I definitely recommend sitting in a Vanley Beacon if you get an opportunity or even the Volano and feeling out the seats because they're pretty amazing. Day-night roller shades. They currently have all of the shades down, but not the darkened shades. The darkened shades right there. And then these are the other shades or the blinds. Okay, they've changed 
The sconces here on the end, beautiful sconce. You can still see they have the opposing colors here, so it's a nice contrast there with beautiful crown molding. Soft touch ceiling, this is also something that's very, very Van Lee Beacon. And they do this because they want you to kind of have that feel, that upscale fifth wheel. Plus it provides some sound dampening and it also gives you just a tiny bit more insulation value. You have your televator right here, goes up and down, LG Smart TV, fireplace down here, plus big cabinets here on the side, along with cable stops again. They've modified this slightly because on the unit we had, these cabinets didn't open up as easily as they did here. The cabinets essentially were pushed back more, so you could only open them up about that far. But yeah, they've clearly modified this and kind of squeezed them in a little bit more so they're more useful. JBL sound system. Very nice. And both of these sofas actually convert into beds. Now, I know they look like love seats, but you could probably tell they're significantly wider than this theater seat right here, which is more on par with a love seat. You could easily fit three people across one of these. No problem at all. And again, they're going to turn into beds, and you'll have two opposing beds right here if you have guests with you. It would have been nice if they put some type of a separator right here. Maybe a nice trim piece up here with a curtain to close this one section off in case you have guests and they want a little bit of privacy. All right, stepping down. Well, I guess before we step down, we got some more storage up here as well. Nice little bar area here. This to me is something they could have probably done a little different. I like this surface here, but it is almost, it's almost a waste. And what I mean by that is this is such a great place to have like bar stools or something, but it's too high off the ground from the kitchen and it backs up to the theater seating right here. But I think they could have been a little bit more creative with how they'd use this space just so you could have some additional seating area when people are eating. Okay, stepping down. Again, you have your freestanding dinette right here, and they usually have two more chairs that are tucked away somewhere, but they're more like folding chairs, but they're still wood and they're still real nice. They don't necessarily match this. I almost prefer that you just have all four chairs out and they match, and I know why they do this, because when the slide's in, it can get really close to this island, and if you don't need all four chairs, then they give you two much more comfortable chairs to have out here for regular use. Very nice. Let's work our way up here to the... I guess this would be the front of the unit and we were just in the back of the unit. All right, so here is the bathroom. Very similar to the actual unit that we had. You have your medicine cabinet here. You have some beautiful lighting above it. You have your storage right here. I think this is a little different though because I believe ours curved right here and you had more storage down below, but I, I could be wrong. You do have this little area right here, great for toiletries and such. Nice solid surface countertop, nice porcelain sink inside of it. Porcelain foot flush toilet along with a bidet, so you have the ability to kind of hose things off when you're done. In here you have a one-piece fiberglass shower along with a repair kit. Nice bench on there as well, and I can attest to these benches being a lot stronger than I thought originally. So, yeah, you don't really have to worry about it. You have a nice adjustable shower sprayer right there also, and even a trimmed off vent fan. That is really cool. Your exhaust vent even is trimmed off, which is really nice. Um, before I forget, and it's easy to forget, this unit has three 15,000 BTU air conditioning units. This is a pretty cool unit in terms of cooling capabilities, and they're all ducted whisper quiet units, and the return airs are actually the grates that you see, and usually the grates will be on this side for your return air, because they're larger to be able to suck more air in, and then this is where the air comes out. So you have a unit above here, you have a unit back there, and you have a unit in the bedroom. And they're all whisper quiet units, of course. You can see the opposing wallboard colors right here as well to give you a nice transition. Nice door, and they give you this really interesting magnetic mount. Um, we had mixed luck with that. And what I mean by that is sometimes when you wanted it to hold open, it didn't hold open as well as we would think. And over here, we also didn't really care for this right here. It was real loud when you were using it, so you might wake people up when you when you go to unlatch it, but there's no locking mechanism to this side of it, so it doesn't actually lock. It'd be nice if they put some type of a lock system there. Nice huge TV in the bedroom. Nice wardrobe. Same as what we had in the one we tested. King size bed. One thing that is really cool, and you may or may not be able to tell in this video, but the bed is like six inches lower than your typical bed in an RV. It is super easy to get on. I mean, it's knee height for a lot of people. So if you are a little bit more challenged in terms of getting on the bed, you have that capability here because the bed just sits so much lower. 
nice wainscot on the wall right here, USB ports over here. You have your lighting switches right here, which is super awesome. So you can essentially turn on and off your bedroom lights, but also your entire RV lights from the bedroom right here. So whenever it's nighttime, you get in bed, you can shut the whole lighting system down if you want. Now, some people are gonna say, where do you put a CPAP? They actually don't have a CPAP spot on the RV. You have to order an accessory from them and it's a CPAP holder. It's essentially designed to give you the ability to put a little table right here that you can put your CPAP on. I don't think it's ideal. I think they still could have put something here in the wall. They could have done something to be able to support a CPAP, but I feel that they probably thought not everyone has one. And if you don't have a need for it, it's not taking up space. But if you do want it, it is an accessory that they produce and it's made out of wood. It matches the interior of your RV. It's really beautiful actually. You have a beautiful closet in here. Um, I'm not going to say it's the largest closet. It's it's a decent sized closet. Um, you have a nice hanging rod here. You have power in here. You have a spot underneath. We didn't have a challenge until we started loading comforters and things like that. And that's really where you find out the limitations of your closet. And it was pretty packed, but you still have a good amount of room. Okay, this slides open and you have a spot for a washer and dryer right here. On the unit we had, we had the stackable splendid washer and dryer here, but on this unit you can tell it's extra storage. Right here you have more wardrobe storage. And the valances kind of change a little bit. So it's not the same valance in here, at least the same soft touch material in here as it is out there. So that's kind of cool. They give you great transitions between spaces so you feel like you're moving to a different space as opposed to everything just blending together. Anyways, guys, let's take a look at the outside of this fifth wheel. Okay, so once again, starting from the front, working our way back, you got the Kurt Rotaflex. You got a big old storage underneath here, but it's really prepped for a generator if you want to throw one in. If you don't, you just got extra storage space. This is gonna have the LCI level up hydraulic six point leveling system. Again, full body paint, automotive grade paint on this unit. Absolutely beautiful. You're gonna have two 30 pound propane cans, one on each side. Now, one area you're not gonna be super impressed by is this front basement storage because it's not huge. It's reasonable size, but that's because there's a ton of storage in the back that we're gonna go over in a little bit. You got your road vac right here, that central vacuuming system. Very nicely trimmed off. Your nice aluminum bath deck right here. Sidewall thickness on this is gonna be about two inches. It's not gonna have the three or three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls, but the insulation in here is actually pretty great. Um, they do a really good job creating their sidewalls here. It's essentially one large piece of fiberglass that's brought in and it's developed to give you a much better sidewall material along with this really beautiful full body paint. You have the Lippard solid steps right here. Underneath, you can see that this is a rack and pinion slide. It's a 12 inch I-beam with a 10 inch drop beam. So this has a very, very robust frame. And the flange on the bottom of this I-beam is huge. It's much larger than the one on the Brookstone that we have, which means this is a heavier duty frame. You have two awnings on this unit. You have an awning right here and you have an awning right here, which essentially cover up this entire space. This specific unit does have insulated dual pane windows comes in very, very handy when it's super hot outside. And this is also equipped with Westlake H-rated tires. You'll see the H load rating right there, 16 ply rating. Again, there's your frame, LCI Road Armor upgraded equalizer suspension. And just like the unit we had, you have this massive storage, nice thick baggage doors on strut arms. And the strut arms are here to prevent the hatch from hitting the bottom of the slide. Huge space under here. This was such a cool space on the unit that we evaluated. We put so much stuff in here and it's so nice to be able to get into this space without having to actually go into your RV. Very, very strong strut arms, very nice slam latches. Okay, coming around back, you have a four inch tubular bumper, you got a ladder to get you all the way up to the top, LED lighting all the way around. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. I'll just hold it right here so I don't hit the pin box there. Nice thick, heavy baggage doors, dual slam latches. But this huge slide out tray is super awesome. And it came in really, really handy when we were hauling mountain bikes around. But what's really nice about this is the fact that when you get to your RV and it's in storage, you can backload your RV with everything you need. Of course, keep an eye on your weight, but it gives you the ability not to have to constantly go inside of your RV to move things. This sped up loading time tremendously and made it so convenient. And you can see the two folding wooden chairs there for the uh, dinette. 
we'll close this so you can hear the thud. Oh, cool, they put little reflectors on the bumper as well, which is nice. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. At this price point, I almost would have hoped they would have just included it. Schwintech slides on the back, rack and pinion slide in the middle, Schwintech slide on the front. Has an electric cord reel right here. These are more side access points to get into that huge cavernous storage space underneath. This is gonna be the back of your refrigerator to help winterize it. Outside of your furnace, outside of your water heater, this does have the Truma AquaGo on-demand water heater system. We had an opportunity to test this out on, this, on the unit we had and it works really, really well. And you have several settings to control how hot you want the water, which is nice. Okay, taking a look in the other side, you have your leveling system controls right there. You have this really cool, I think it's, uh, it's either aluminum or stainless, but I believe it's aluminum and everything is cut out of it, which is really nice. Nice handles, everything in here is just laid out exceptionally well. Even your water pump. So they put your water pump in this area so it's so easy to service because water pumps, believe it or not, are one of the, the higher failure points of RVs. So having a water pump that's serviceable from this area is super awesome. It makes it such a nice feature to replace if you need to. Then you have your low point drains right here as well, plus a small outside shower. And all of your dump valves are not the traditional, you know, cable pull style. They're actually electronic dump valves. So you can open and close them in here electronically. Very, very cool. What do you guys think? Such a massive, absolutely huge fifth wheel. And uh, we had a lot of fun with the one we had. We took it out quite a few times, spent a lot of time in it, and it was just absolutely wonderful. When you were inside of it, you felt like you were in a high-end condo. But again, leave a comment below. I would love to know what your thoughts are on this absolutely beautiful Van Lee Beacon. This is the updated 2022 model. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.